this box, this is all one piece. And we have two different plugs that go into it. What were the colors I was looking for? Orange, black, and pink, black. Orange, black, and pink, and black. So it's not this one, and it's not that one. It's right here. I, it's completely in a different spot that I thought. Um, it's this part. Look, there's your door lock switches. Okay, flip it over. I should have just done that. You see, this is actually a a a four pin. And what we have is a it's that purple and white, black, orange, black, and then there's my pink, black. Okay. Um, what we can do is I'm going to ground my voltmeter. Do a voltage measurement first. We said these are pull down design circuits, right? Based on the on the wiring diagram, these are pull down designs. That's the one signal. So it's 11 volts. We said it was pull down design. That would make sense with the switch in the open position. That's the orange black and then the pink black would be the other wire. There's 11 volts on that one. Now what we should see when we hit the switch is it, the switch will ground these two wires individually and, and that would be on this black wire. That's the ground. So if I touch on the orange, see if I can do this all together and hit the I'm, gonna, I'm going to hold it in this time. What am I doing to that circuit? Pulling. Pulling it to ground, right? Okay, so same thing on the on the pink wire is it would be the, the opposite direction though. Okay, pull down circuit. As far as the ground test goes, might as well show you this because we're here. We're doing a ground to ground voltage drop test. I'm just putting my, my meter on the ground wire now. And this is not a good test until we load the circuit. Loaded circuit be close the switch. And see it went to 0 0.08 right there for a second. Uh, 0 0.02, that is a good ground. That's how you check the ground, doing a voltage drop test. We'll cover more of that later. Next test I want to show you. This is a pull down design circuit, right? So what we can do is we can actually use a test light and I'm connected to ground with my test light. And um, by the way, this test, it's not going to light the test light because of that internal resistor in the computer. And I'll explain this maybe on the board with you. But if I take this test light and let me zoom out a little bit so you can, you can see the light too. Let you see that test light at the same time I'm doing this. If I take this test light, and I'm completely safe doing this, guys. This is my own truck. I'm not going to hurt it. I promise you, the switch grounds these wires. I'm going to use my test light to do the same thing. Watch. That was the orange wire. Here's the pink one. Here's, here's the orange again. How you doing this? Uh... I'm just doing what the switch would do. I, I am doing what I have listed in section two in my book as a switch input bypass test. So now think about how cool that is. What's that? Are you grounding? I am grounding it. My test light's going to ground. Think about how cool that is. I mean, let's say the situation is that the door locks do not work and you're pretty sure you need a switch and you do this test and you can make the door locks work. How's the wiring all the way to here? Good. It's good. It's the, switch. it's the switch. You better check your switch ground before you replace the switch, but it's that simple. This is a switch input bypass test. Now to do this, isn't it important to know that I need to give this a ground and not a power? It is. And notice my test light's not lighting. And I'll, I'll hold it there for a second. That test light is not lighting at all. Over here, test light is not lighting. I'm just using this to ground that circuit. Now, if you were to use an LED type test light, it may actually light on those and it may not pull the circuit to ground because the LED test light doesn't carry enough current flow. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I should show you an LED. Anybody got an LED test light? You know what, scratch that. It's just gonna take too long. I'll show that another time. Um, what I'll, I'll do is, is illustrate it on the board with you guys. I wanna show you one other thing while I'm here because we're running out of time. If we were 
dealing with these two circuits, our, our, uh, our orange and our, our pink wire. And we wanted to identify the circuit design. What I would tell you to do, and this is what I tell you to do in the book, is to unplug it. Unplug the switch and measure your voltage. If the voltage is high on the signal wire, then it's a pull down design. So there's identification that's involved here. This one's a little bit tricky because there's two switches that share the same ground, or in other words, two circuits that share the same ground. What it would involve is measuring the voltage levels here and here with the switch open and close, and then you can make that determination. So let me show you that part on the board uh, because it'll be a little bit easier than showing you that here. And then, uh, and then I'll also show you why that test light didn't light.